Welcome to a tutorial video on 22.6. In this video, I'm going to cover how to include the contents of one passage in others. Often, when we find ourselves creating interactive stories within Arlo and working within 22.6, we see ourselves having the same text or the same use of macros occurring multiple times across passages. And let me show you an example of this. So over here in my introduction passage, I have these two lines right here, health, and then we can look at the value of the variable health and magic, and then the value of the variable magic. These lines repeat over here in forest, and I see health and I see magic again. If we end up in situations where we see the exact same text, or in some cases, the exact same macro usage appearing multiple times, there might be a case for using a new macro within Harlow that we can introduce to our stories called display. The display macro displays the contents of one passage in another. It is an incredibly powerful tool within Harlow that allows us to break up our stories into parts, and particularly as we get into more advanced coding patterns, even more parts, and then have the display macro include all of those parts back together for us. So in other words, we can take something that's fairly complex, break it up into parts, and use the existing concepts we already know with Entwined, particularly Passage, to then re-include them back together again. So let's take a look at the example. So over here in introduction, we have these two lines. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight them, and then I'm using Windows, for me, Control X to cut them. If you were Max, it would be Command X. And I'm going to create a new passage. And I'm going to call this passage Statistics. So let me open this, and I'm going to rename it to Statistics. And then I'm going to put that content, paste it right here. So for me, that was Control V or Command V if you were using Mac. So now I'm going to do something a little bit different. Over here in Forest, where I had the exact same thing, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And then I'm going to go back to Introduction. Then where I had it previously, I'm going to now use a macro called display. And then the macro display needs to know what passage I want to display. And I want to display statistics. And then I'm going to copy this line, control C for me, and I'm going to put it over here right after this. And so notice when I use that macro, I use the name of the passage. There's one thing I want to point out here. There is no visual connection when the display macro is used within, right here, the passage listing. Notice we have a link from here to here, and we see a little arrow indicating that visual connection, but there is a one when we use this. This can be a little bit confusing, and we can be slightly forgetful if we're not aware of the content of these passages when we do it. However, again, this is a powerful tool because it allows us to break up things and then recombine them back together. So in this particular case, because I had the same two lines repeating, I could just put them in another passage and then use display macro to display the contents of that passage whenever I want to reuse it again. So let's go ahead and run through this and we can see what this looks like. So if we play this, we notice, oh, look, there they are right there. Let's go to the forest. And there they are right there. Notice it had the current values when it showed the value of those variables. So if we get ourselves particularly in usage of things like statistics or particularly some advanced coding patterns within Harlow, we often find display macro incredibly powerful for these usages. Again, notice that I was able to just write things in one place, and then whenever I needed that same text or the same macros, I can just then display it in other passages. So this is just a small concept within Harlow, but an incredibly powerful one as we move into more advanced coding patterns. As we will see in future videos, we will often find ourselves in situations where we have a passage that includes the contents of another passage that includes the contents of another passage, and potentially even three or four deep if we really want to go there. This allows us to take complex coding particularly, break it up into very small parts, doing comparisons, working with the set and if macros we've already seen, and distributing it up into smaller parts and allowing us to test and work with those parts instead of writing more complex code. So an incredibly powerful tool that we're just getting introduced in this video, and we, as we will see in future videos, incredibly useful as we build more complex patterns within Harlem, and particularly as our, get our, our coding gets more complex with more macro usage. Thanks for watching.